So this is interesting. The yellow Pikmin don't have an onion yet, but they're still with us. I wonder when's the next video where people are going to be like, I spent 500 hours underground and let, let's see what day it took me to. What's the problem? Oh, I see. The Pikmin won't follow you onto the surface. Yeah, there are limits to how many and what types of Pikmin you can have out on the surface at any one time. But don't worry about the rest when you choose which Pikmin to take. Any remaining Pikmin will go to the onion with the SS Beagle. What's this now? Okay, so I can still have yellow Pikmin. Um, I want an onion though. I think I saw one earlier. Where's that onion? I want to put more Pikmin on the field. Oh, and I love this. Everyone's just gonna be like, oh my goodness, he's spending the whole time just saying how much he loves this game. If you love it so much, why don't you marry it? Well, screw you, I'm going to be... No, never mind, I don't... I don't think I want to marry Pikmin. Pikmin are gross. They're slimy. They're icky. They're smelly. They're, they have a clear path back, right? I noticed you're looking at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you about the handy little functions it has? The system's marked... The system will mark discovered caves and clearings with down or er. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of your... of your objectives. Okay, that's not a cave. This is a cave. What are they talking? Are they talking about the full map? Oh, this is the full map, by the way. Okay. I like how I can just walk to the Pikmin Lake. Wait a minute. Wait a gosh. The hell the phone. I know that guy. Wait a minute. Alright, gonna smack you. Just gonna smack you for fun. Don't think much about it. Yes, more Pikmin. This is, hopefully this implies that we can get more than a hundred in the field. We can take out ten more now. This will speed up our discovery. Okay, we're gonna defeat these creatures so we can get the onion here. Yes, Beagle can't land here right now. I still have yet to lost the Pikmin. Okay, move base. Okay, I need to... Wait, let's see. Twenty. Dang it. Okay. There we go. Oh, nice little treasure. Oh, oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. Oh, there it is, the nice circle. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. It seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin separate from the squad, are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. How about we speed that up? Never mind. They, they still never fix. Oh, okay. Never mind. <gasps> the yellow onion. Gotta get that. Oh, and I bring that back. Oh, this is funny. This is funny. This is funny. This is funny. Look at that, another onion. This one's a different color. Will, will it also be able to move on its own? Oh, we need a lot. Can we put... How many more Pikmin can we put on it? I think it's funny in the... Yo, you can put a lot on. Hang on. I hope this implies that we can eventually get a white or an ice one at some point. Ooh, yellow? But the red creeps... Ooh. Yay. <laughs> Look at them all. It sucked up the other onion? That was unexpected. You don't think that's going to be a problem, do you? Unbelievable. The onion's fused, and now there's just one with two colors. Wait, do you think we'll be able to propagate pigment of both types now? <laughs> I like the way you think. Where did the bulwark go? Did we already collect it? Great, no straight pigment to worry about. Well, guess what? So press... Th no, I think I won't. Haha. <laughs> lol, lol. Okay. Come on, there's got to be... Few more tr Oh, whoops. Okay. 
Alright, I'm gonna be greedy and I'm gonna go after this, but this is the best I can do. Please stop making me stop throwing. Ooh, so now it's night. Oh, so this is how they do the end of the day thing. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here one piece. Yo. Hee hee hee! Of course, Captain. I have no doubts the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. That may be, but it would be if, if that may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how it how to actually use it. One would expect the emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to the, use in the event of emergency. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if you came across any rocks like this before you f we found you? Gee hee hee! Oh, Colin, 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 not only did I see them, I've already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when, we, when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable and can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Huh? To put it simply, the more of this material I collect, the more inventions I can whip up to aid in your search. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can put this mater miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Bagel. It'll be crucial to my work in the lab, and any other building needs that minor rights. Okay. Any building needs that my arise. What spectacular update, Russ! I knew bringing along a material scientist would be key to our success. Starting to tomorrow, I expect our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. We should be able to find our rescue officer more quickly as well. Speaking of which, we also discovered a few castaways beside our own rescue officer and cast Captain Olimar. There may be more. What should we do about them, Captain? There's not much we can do. Rescue them, no matter how many are out there. And once they're here, I'm confident you'll take good care of them, Colin. Copy that, Captain. Another task for the to-do list. I know, I know. In case I'm a baby and I forget how to play the game. Oh. But it won't let me continue to day three, will it? Will it just say that's the end? Oh. Wait, is it just me or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? Oh, interesting. That's actually quite typical of his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activities. Oh, the Pikmin love- Oh, I jump on him. Squish him down. The Pikmin sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's come into his size. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Right. Another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. Oh, his eyes are fire. That's interesting. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday research operations. From the looks of it, Ochi is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. Alright, officers to your stations, please. Copy that. I now call the strategy meeting to order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Kee hee hee! It would be my absolute pleasure, Captain. Or it would be kee hee! It would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done. The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material collected in the day in the field into all purpose clay. With this functionality, you should be able to easily build on location. Excellent. Of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. That's not- that's- that's really cool that you can build stuff with it. One last thing, bring me raw materials and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gears and items for you in this lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while we're- while out in the field. Sounds like we're not only going to be collecting treasure, but raw materials too. And don't forget about our mission, Reth- don't forget about our missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Pick Sean and Omach Ochi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call the, call the strategy meeting to a close. Copy that! So, Ochi evolves per day. 
Don't forget, I need more raw material. Shut up, I want to trade Ochi. Ah, there you are. Danger is a constant when exploring an unknown planet like this. The skills I've teach I'll teach you and Ochi just might save you. As long as you and Ochi keep building up his pup drive, there's nothing the two of you can't do. Well, I hope you're ready, because it's time to start our training. I like to train. Alright, it's time to commence training. The journey will be long and arduous. Ardur arduous? But I have no doubt you two can handle it. Learn all Ochi skills. Okay. Five. This rescue pup training curriculum has been passed down through my many through many generations. If Ochi's pup drive has built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you two want to take. Go to the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or use the chop path if, you, if taking on creatures is your priority. But keep proper Dandori practices in mind and think carefully about what you will what will help you carry out your duties efficiently. I don't know why I would send him to base, but I think this might be more useful actually. Oh, he has four pup drive. I don't know why. Yay. Um. Anyways, I want to lower the rush. I want to do this more often, and I like the idea that he can bop the boards. Just kidding, I don't have enough. I don't know why it's... Where does it tell you the amount you need? Okay, so it tells you the amount right next to it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll buff him up then. Dark, dark. Okay. You put everything you had into that training. What a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. Now I have a special treat for you. Going forward, every time you complete training, you get a scrummy bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward reward for me. Okay. Um, I'll talk to you. Swans? What? Okay. Um, I'm gonna send you after it. I'm gonna see where you take it. Okay, so it's random. Alright, that's fine. Ahem. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Russ, the resident brains of this rescue corpse operation. I use the raw materials or find that my and my handmade components to create all kinds of items and gear for you to use in field. I'll visit the lab. I can proudly state that all my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You could even say I have it down to a science. In exchange for raw materials, I provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible to continue my important work. I may run out of components from time to time, but if that happens, just visit the lab the next day after I restock. Okay, that's a... I'm glad it doesn't point to a map for it. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Charging horn. Oh, there it. Oh, we need that. We need that. I'm sorry. We need that. Okay. Uh, detects treasure in castaways nearby. Um. Uh, and the rest. I'll. I'll get this, right? Let's see. Oh! Okay, that's not... I like that. I don't know why it's his prototype. I guess I can't use it? Um, I'll buy one of these just to see how it works. Um, okay, it's already in my inventory, so I guess we have it. Um, and I'll buy... Uh, I don't really care about my health. No, no, in the game, in the game, in the game. Hee hee hee, I'd love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece, the charging horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press X to blow the horn once and order your Pikmin to charge. If you press X once, only your selected Pikmin or Ochi will charge. But keep pressing X and the entire squad charges. As you can see, this horn is perfect for attacking or transporting objects. You can even call it Dandori Dynamite. Man. As someone who's trying to figure out projects and stuff, I wish I knew how Dandori worked. Wait. The automatic button is gone now. I guess that's because I... Okay, well... Does it change color? Okay, it does. Okay. There we are. Hello. Uh, thank you so much for rescuing me the other day. I confess, I am really quite flustered. I only came here because I heard there were rare treasures to be found. 
Getting stuck here was not on my agenda. Oh, my apologies. I'm Squaz, a noted appraiser of treasures. I often compile my findings into a little log of pos posterity's sake. Few treasures. Ah, you're interested in treasure, are you? I'd love for you to take a gander at my pride and joy, my treasure catalog. Alas, I lost all my data while I was, well, lost myself. If you don't mind, would you allow me to praise any treasure you have to collect? If you do, I shall compile the treasure data into a neatly edited treasure catalog. Of course, I'll offer you a reward for doing me this favor. All I require is that you keep me posted when you find something. Oh, I, I like getting rewards for getting more treasures. As as if like getting the treasures wasn't rewarding enough. Um. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna go all the way. <laughs> Why does it let you go so far? Why does it let you go so far? In case I want to take a. This is weird. Okay, but I like it though. I'm not gonna complain. So this counts as one treasure, but we kind. Of... Ooh, I like that. So you can collect multiple of a treasure. That's nice. I think that's nice. Do drop by any time you'd like to pursue the treasure catalog. Do I, do I get a reward for Tidy? You lied to me. Wait, how do I write Ochi? I want to write Ochi. Okay, let's see. We're all set here at the SS Bagel to take off whenever you're ready. Uh, let's explore. Which area would you like to explore? So I can continue? I guess I hadn't collected enough treasure. Okay, I thought I said after day one, which I guess didn't, didn't make much sense. Oh, uh, this is this is giving me uh, rocket slime flies. I know I've mentioned that quite a bit on the channel, but uh, for those of y'all that don't know, it's a game where you collect slimes and bring them back to your town, and it, it populates the area. I quite like that. They're doing something. It's not going to be like they're going to build towns or anything, but I like the idea that the more you collect, the more that will be there. Oh, and we land back at the same spot! That's nice! The game continues. Oh, Come in, come in over! As we discussed earlier, earlier, Ochi has grown a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on his junk's, junk, junk, jump skill. Ochi should be able to move... Who is that? Who is that? Ochi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Walk up to Ochi and press Y to mount. Press it again to dismount. Press X when you want Ochi to use jump. He should have no problem clearing small edges. If you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. Hit something with a rush to launch Pikmin on his back and have him land on your target. Using jump will give you access to more search areas and good rush will be a game changer in battle. Okay, you're now my dog. Haha. <laughs> I love that every Pikmin is in the onion. You don't have to do like a weird... There we go. That's good enough. You don't have to like go to a specific like ship or anything. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Gonna... Oh, just push, right? Okay. Okay, well, um... Wow, this demo is going on longer than I thought. Uh... I'm very happy about this. Uh, let's go see this guy. I feel like I'm going to swim across to meet him, right? Oh, yo, he can't swim. Right, right, my bad. Right, my bad, I'm sorry. Um... Okay, he's just teasing me. Um... Oh, this is good. This is good game design. I like... <laughs> it's just so funny, see? Wait, the corpses are still here! I don't know if I like that or I find that creepy. <laughs> uh, I don't actually think it's creepy creepy, but I think it's it's interesting. I've kind of figured in the other games it implied that uh, other creatures ate them. Do I have to dismount? Okay. Oh, I can't, oh, I got charged. My bad. Hey, this is a trailer. There we go. So how do I do the bridge? Tell me about the bridge. I, be I believe we can turn this partial construction into a vital asset. 
will process raw material into clay at the SS bag at the SS bagel and use it as a building material to finish the structure. These raw materials are only valuable when built brilliant minds give them a higher purpose after all. Once you're at your construction site, simply direct your Pikmin and Ochi to start building. Whoa, look at this camera. Look at this world. Here, I'll do it a bit slower. Okay, I can't do it slower, my bad. Okay, so we need- Oh, these are live! Oh, I'm sorry, Ochi. Okay, my bad. My dog. That's my dog! Oh, whoops. Okay. I'll let them. F no, I'm, I'm gonna come along. Actually, I wanna search for treasure. Treasure. Okay, so there's a strawberry there. So I'll take care of that. Oh. Yup. Yep. Yaha. Yippee. Yippee. Yahoo. One, two, three. I guess I can use. Yeah, I'll use a regular. So this is a new cave. Um. I'll wait for the Pikmin to do that. Um, in the meantime, I'll send some Pikmin on this so we can go back to this area. This is interesting. This is really inter- This is- This is really beautiful to look at. <laughs> I'm going back and forth to collect the uh, materials. And we can collect more materials from here, I presume. And they keep going back and forth. So this still has like the multitasking of like the Pikmin games, of, of Pikmin 3. Uh oh, is this the end? Yay. You did it! Really great job, Ochi and Pikshaw. With all the energy you've collected, we can continue our restoration of the SS Shepherd's radar. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, um, let's see, can I just... Cheese by this. Okay, so they go that way. Um, but where do they go after? Do they. I want to make sure that they don't come up. Oh my god, they definitely are. Okay, I'm gonna bring you over here, right? I'm gonna distract you. I'm gonna kick you. I'm gonna punch you. No, 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 not the dog, not the dog. No, not the dog. Oh, we ran out of raw material. Okay, Pikmin, come back. Dog, come back. Come back. Come back. Okay, uh... Wait, how do I... No, I don't need to do that. I just need to... Oh, okay, I guess I got something. Uh, whoops, I activated. Dang it. I didn't know that was the hotkey. Would you look at that? It's like the Pikmin got a huge energy boost. Oh, and Ochi too. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. He looks crazy. Five Nights at Freddy's? Ochi got out pumped up too. I just wonder how... Just how potent is this stuff? The Pikmin and Ochi are all extremely fired up right now. It seems the Ultra Spicy Spray has a powerful energizing effect on them. Their movements are faster, and they're more efficient at pretty much everything. Okay, uh, well now I feel like I have to do something with this, so... Go back to bed. Yes, yes. Okay, they finished the bridge. Yay! Hehehe! <laughs> oh, all Pikmin got charged! That's nice! Construction of the clay bridge is complete! Now you can come and go as you please! Go ahead! Cross it! Admire the impressive craftsmanship! Oh, uh, poor cheer grubs. They will not be able to eat the wood the Pikmin used to build this bridge. I killed a dog? Oh no, Ochi! Let's hurry and get the poor little buddy, buddy back to base. Oh, I thought I would have to carry him there. You're on your own for a bit, but don't give up on your mission. You can still do this, Pikshan. We'll let Ochi rest at the base for a while. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay. I am sorry. For some reason, it was the life of the Pikmin or the dog, and I chose the do the Pikmin. I think it's weird that they still prevent you from mashing the A button. Okay. Oh, whoops. 
Okay. I'm sorry, Ochi. I'm sorry, my boy. I let you down. Uh... Can I not give you a bone? I'm gonna send... a few more Pikmin to finish this. We're gonna send... Red Pikmin on that. There we go. That, that's not... Oh, there we go. Um... This is very beautiful. I'm... I'm so ha Oh, no, I can't jump. Oh my god, I'm a big idiot. Oh my god. Can I not toss a bone? Oh, okay, alright, well, we did it. <laughs> uh, I'm not a bad guy after all. What, what are you guys doing? I thought the bridge, the bridge is not built yet. Oh, the bridge still isn't built yet. Okay, um, shoot, I guess we did need more material. Okay, they're all gonna collect that. I'm very happy that the terrain looks like this. That is so, like, more detailed. Pikmin has always had a very unique, like, um, level structure where there was, like, walls always around you to, like, guide the player, but not, like, restrict them too much but this is like way more open and helps you feel like you're actually like exploring the world oh my god there's a wait how do i what how do i get over oh i need more blue ice pigment oh i can't get up oh i hop up okay there you go good boy someone or something built a rough wall inside the cave the pigment and i were able to scramble up but moss was unable to climb up the wall uh, I said, that's a dog dude. I'll have to leave her behind for now and hope we can find a way to meet up. Uh. Wait, what was that? Unfinished tasks on the service will be called off. Yeah, that's fine. If I, if it turns out we need more fire, we can always revisit these caves. It's no longer a case of if you mess up, you have to just close the game. You see, that's the thing. Everyone always says that Pikmin 2, like I'm not, I don't want to see make it seem like I'm bashing on the game, but... Like, when, when most Pikmin 2 players have to reset the game in order to, like, make what they feel is good progression, I think that's a bit... Okay, they're not eating that. I thought I was against time for a second there. Kill the mushrooms. Kill the mushrooms. Yes! I can just, uh, dis Switch! Transport. Oh my god, I play as a dog now. Uh, wait, I can throw! Wait, why doesn't Pikmin 2... Why doesn't the second player do that? Oh, and I need materials underground? That's smart! This game is so good! Wait, but how do I dismiss? Oh, disband. Okay, I need the red Pikmin. Oh, look at that! They wait by the water! And they auto-dis... That's so nice! They auto-dismiss! Okay, time to... Wait, these are ice Pikmin. Oh, I get what I'm supposed to do. Mm. Wow, how amazing is that? The water froze almost instantaneously. Now you can travel right across the top. Okay. Uh, alright. Let's do this. I feel like I'm actually using every type of Pikmin. Oh, that's creepy. So I call them back, right? And then what? The Oh, it just stays frozen. Oh, it's but it melts over time. Okay. Alright, I like that. I really like that. That's nice. Okay, I cheated. <laughs> oh, I could learn a cool new mechanic where I climb this wall. No, screw you. I'm gonna uh, play this game normally. Or do it my way. It's just nice that there's so much stuff you can do in the caves. I wonder if I can freeze the uh, him instantly with 20. There we go. That's nice. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys are destroying his bum. Oh, she can't climb up this wall. Like, this is interesting. <laughs> Rock wall is such an interesting thing to add. I really was confused on why they added that at first, but it makes sense. Wait, let's see how the pathing works. So if I were to be like, oh, I want to go up here. That's nice. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, look at- look, it's like, uh-oh. 
But they made... Oh, that's so nice. This is such a nice game. This is such a nice game. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Oh, it's just... Wait a minute, what are you? Oh, the music. Okay, you charge. Oh, Ice Pikmin. Yes! Kill! Oh, we're fighting more Pikmin under... This is such a nice system for fighting new Pikmin! When you find them by surprise, that's so nice. Uh, everyone's gonna hate me for just saying the word nice or again. Like, wow, it's so nice. It's so cool. I love. Well, you know, you know what I like about Pikmin is that I play Pikmin, and it's a game that I play, and I like it. And wow, I'm, I'm very happy right now. This is the best I can do with expressing how happy I am. Uh, so just me being like, oh, it's nice. It's nice. It's it's really the best I can do. I can't do Markiplier's. Oh, oh, oh was that the night? The Fifty-seven. There we are. Die. The cursor will physically not let me climb up there if it's not high enough. Do I have to do something weird here? Oh, wait, I'm stupid. He's on a ledge. Duh. There we are. Lol. Get wrecked, noob. Oh. Who is this? Checking in Fodea. It's Kingsley. He took his obsession with flowers to a new level when he traveled alone on this remote planet simply to see its unusual blossoms. Nope, it's another civilian. Look at the mushrooms! I would come to this planet just to look at the weird thi I was about to take back that thought like, oh my god, I'd get spores in my system and die, but I forgot that there's helmets. I would totally come to the planet for this... Like, this air... Oh. <laughs> I'm doing it again, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm so happy. Uh, I really did want to do this for a stream. Um, so I was actually going to like hold back on playing the demo till like this weekend. But I figured with how many Pikmin discords I was in and how many like uh, Pikmin people I follow, it was, it was going to be impossible to avoid of spoilers. I, I wanted the genuine experience. 30, exactly, perfect. I can get blue Pikmin early. And the spray. Oh, it's bearing a red sea. Ah, uh, okay. Why? It's another type of Pikmin nutrition? Nutrient? Okay, so we're gonna... I'm gonna ignore it. it oh, I can't... Wait. Wait. Oh. No. Come back here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna freeze this. I mean, we're gonna build this. There we are. And we gave blue Pikmin this early! Me just running along with Ochi, just letting my Pikmin doing stuff in the background. Hey, not, totally not Almar. Oh. Ugh. Red alert! I see something, or someone. And who is that next to them? It doesn't look like any of our rescue officers. Oh, he doesn't say anything. Oh, there's the... Gee, I wonder who that is. Hey, what's going on here? Why are they planning to do that with their... What are they planning to do with that castaway? We need to rescue them, and quick! Pick Sean! Ochi, let's go! Your Pikmin cannot join- My my Pikmin can't join me anyways. Let's see how this works. <laughs> A cave you go in without Pikmin. Oh, and there's levels! Gathering Pish Pikmin is crucial to success. The more you have, the more things you can- This is a very- This is a good length demo. Even longer than Pikmin, like, one. Oh, we're almost at three hours. This is great. What is this? I guess we'll figure that later. For now, let's focus on finding that castaway. Oh, there he is. No, don't, don't, don't do it, don't do it. I see them, over there. No, don't do it, don't, don't, oh my god. He got eight. Oh, it's a cat. What, what in the world? Oh, I love how hairy they are. Those who do not embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet, but if they grow, to le grow the leaves, they will thrive. You, skin ha having one. <laughs> me having- me- when you have skin. <laughs> do you believe you do not need the leaves? I will test your ability to see if this is true. I ate him. I invite you to face me in Dandori battle. I have provided the Pikmin you will need to support you in the challenges ahead. Listen closely. Find- Oh, bop bop bop. 
Find objects and transport them back to your base within the time limit. To win, collect the highest total combined weight. If you wish to retrieve your castaway, prove that your Dandori abilities are superior to mine. Now, the Dandori battle begins. When I saw this for the first time, I really was like, why would they put Bingo Battle in the cave? This is wrong. But then I learned, oh, Pikmin fans don't usually have friends. So this is the, the best way now for people who want to experience Bingo Battle but didn't have friends to play with uh, to do it. Because I've always wanted a computer to like play Bingo Battle with me. Because like I said, I'm, I don't have too many people to play Pikmin with. Uh, hey, no. There we are. Hey, no. <laughs> In this mode, it kind of makes it obvious that uh, Ochi is like a bread bug. A playable bread bug. <laughs> uh, this is this is really interesting. I, this is, I really wonder how people who are not uh, used to the Pikmin series are going to feel about this, you know? Okay, so cap attacking each other isn't like the standard move here. Like, you're, you're not automatically attacking other Pikmin. Oh, this goes on for a while. How do I get up there? Oh, I gotta do something weird. I gotta go over here and... Oh, more objects are spawning! This is nice. This is nice. I like this. This is nice. This is, this is a this is a fun experience. It's it's a, like a playground. I, I... I don't know if I like or dislike the fact that there's a double screen going on when not needed. Wait, 30... Wait, did you see that? 30 Pikmin were able to get on that one object. Oh my god, you can put a huge amount of Pikmin on objects. Yay. Haha, <laughs> I win. Oh, I got a badge for winning by more than a certain amount. That's nice. The strength of your Dandori power is magnificent. I will return this one to you. Come here, my K9 moss that I always had. They just left? Who is who in space and time was that? Well, whoever they are, they weren't lying. Your Dandori talents were on full display. Now let's get this castaway out of here. Man. They got me hyped for about the just the word Dandori. There we go. So you're a purple pigment, eh? Huh? They really are growing leaves out of their head. They seem to be suffering from the same condition as that leafy individual you just challenged. Transporting back, transport them back to the SS right away. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back to. I need all of you. No, I I meant like. Oh, auto automatically gives you an equal amount of each, which I don't need. This is good. I just can't get over the fact that they have leaves growing out of their head and their face is all. Well, bushy. Let's just check their ID info. Oh, unable to read data. What's this? Unable to read data? They should have biometric auth authentication, but this is definitely an issue. How are we supposed to find out who this is? Interesting, interesting. Okay. Let's try to finish this. I would like to re retrieve blue pigment. Yep, there we are, blue. Onions really do come in all different colors. Could this could there be one for every pigment type? There it is. Oh, but I can't lift it because I don't have enough. Where is my boy? I can't get that it's so close and I can't do anything with it. Oh well. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, this is nice. Again. Sorry. Yay. This will expand our range and help us pick up distant SOS signals. Let's give it a spin. Ooh. Almost done. Huzzah! We've detected multiple SOS si Multiple? Is it a new area? Multiple new areas? Or is it just... Oh. 
They have leaves growing out of their head. So odd. There is poisonous oxygen in this plant's atmosphere. They should be able to survive without their helmet. Something very strange is going on here. Oh, the pup drive goes up with the amount of people you collect. I see. The castaway were we rescued today, were those leaves growing? Oh my god. I believe so, and they aren't just leafy, they're completely overgrown. There's no way to tell who they are. Maybe we'll get some more information after they examine, they're examined by our doctor. But we need to find our doctor. Until then, let's get this castaway some rest. Okay. It's interesting seeing this game have multiple objectives. You complete this demo, you can port it to the main game. Ooh! Oh, so that's what the clam looks like! Oh my god, that's underwater! Oh, this game is beautiful. Oh. Oh my- well, there you go, every- oh my god, every Pikmin fan is so happy right now. For two reasons. One, there's a bread bug on screen. Second, there's blue bulboards. Uh... Dangerous snakes, hidden treasures. Uh, what now? You bring a bomb? What? Huh. That screenshot don't look so good. I think that one's still in work. Well, I guess I'll return to title screen. Let's see what happens if I try to continue the story. Any updates? Oh, the story continues. Hold up. Any cast updates on this castaway? What's their current condition? Yeah. Nothing new to report. No, nothing new to report. They're still asleep. They haven't re responded to any of our attempts to wake them up. The oddest thing is, they don't seem to need a helmet to breathe, and we have no idea how that's possible. Hey. Then we need to get our doctor involved ASAP. In the meantime, we're counting on you two to locate the remaining rescue officers and collect more treasure, understood? Roger, roger. Huh? What's that? What was that nonsense? I don't know, it kind of has a funny ring to it, I think. I hereby call this morning strategy session to a close. Copy that, Captain! Can I whistle him? No, he's gone now. Okay, let's see what, what items you have. Uh, I can't afford anything, but there's nothing really new. Oh. Oh, and what? Ooh. Oh my god, this implies you can buy bomb rocks later. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Can I whistle? Oh, I figured it would have been a whistle. I don't care about the treasure hoard. Oh. Hi up there. The name's Kingsley. I run a flower shop back at home. I actually came to this plan to find rare flowers. That thing took a turn. One second I'm gazing at glorious buds, and the next thing I know, I'm stranded. So yeah, I've had enough adventuring for the time being. I don't think I'll be doing much exploring around here. Why do you have an explanation, boy? It's been intense, but I can't give up completely. I still want to leave this planet, planet more flowered than it was when I got here. That's when you come in. You gotta help me bloom a whole lot of pick- Wait a minute. What's in it for you? Well, do this for me, and I'll give you my glorious stone collection. What do you say? We got a deal? So is this just by giving Pikmin flowers? Oh, that's all on our ship, though. So we may definitely come up here, maybe even as like a post-game thing, when there's like so many people. Um, alright, let's try explore. This is a strange world map, though. Can I- wait, no I can't. I can't just travel to another area, right? I need the demo. Wait, I can just go to a new area? Wait, no, there's no way. What? Okay. Alright, alright. I think we found the uh, post-game name. Yep, straight up. They, <laughs> they straight up... Wait, they just straight up spoiled it. Huh. I guess that's pretty much it for the demo. That was a that was a lot of fun. I'm I'm very happy that they finally made the game, or they they got a demo out for us. Lot, lots of people on Twitter were 
very, very mad because Nintendo was like, it's dropping on the 28th. And then we're like, oh, and then it was like uh, the 8 p.m. that they dropped it. And everyone was like, oh, and now it's now it's out. I mean, I also was all like that. I was like, come on, just release it. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a good one. Mwah!